nationwide shutdown. Pressure on Tinibu as NLC mobilized workers for strike after insisting, insisting on 615,000 Naira minimum wage. Good morning, everyone, and thank you all for tuning in and listening to this headline that we brought to your ears this morning. As our headline for this morning says that pressure on Tinibu as NLC mobilized workers for strike after insisting on 615,000 minimum, 615, minimum wage. It says that in a bold move to address the rising economic challenges facing Nigerian workers, the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, and the Trade Union Congress, TUC, have jointly issued a ultimatum to the federal government. The labor unions are demanding a reversal of the recent hike in electricity tariff and the conclusion of the new minimum wage negotiation by May 13, 2024, or face a nationwide strike. The call for action, which was mobilized, which was which has mobilized civil society organization, CSOs, and other alliances, is rooted in the growing discontent among Nigerian workers over stagnant wages amid storing scoring life costs. The NLC and TUC have proposed a significant increase in the national minimum wage to 615,000 Naira, a substantial leap from the current 30,000 Naira, citing the high cost of living and inflatory pressure that have eroded workers' possession power. During the Workers' Day celebrated on May, First, NLC President Joe Ajero and TUC President Festus Osifo emphasized the urgent need for a new minimum wage. They argued that the current wage is grossly inadequate to meet the basic need of Nigerian workers, with Ajero highlighting that the proposal for the 615,000 naira is based on detailed assessment of living costs, including housing, food, transportation, and health care. Despite the federal government's recent announcement on a 35% salary increase for civil servants and a 20 to 28% increase for pensioners under the defined benefits, if under the defined benefit scheme, the labor leaders have dismissed their measures as insufficient and somewhat leading. They argue that such increase did not address the root cause of workers' financial struggle, nor meet the expectations set during minimum wage negotiation. The NLC and TUC have also voiced strong opposition to the recent electricity tariff hike, demanding its reversal. They argued that the increased tariff have further stained the already tight budget of many Nigerian households. The labor unions have given the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, NC, NERC, a week to reverse the hike, following which they will include these issues in their border industry action. The federal government, recognizing the potential disruption of a nationwide strike, has been making effort to expand the minimum wage discussion. A 37-member um, triumphant committee on the new triumphant committee on the new national minimum wage, shared by former head of civil service in the federation Goni Aji, has been convened to reach the uh, reach a concession a consensus on the new wage structure. However, the progress of this discussion remains a concern within the labor unions insisting on May 31st deadline for conclusive action. The stakes are high as the deadline approaches. The labor unions have made it clear that failure to meet their demands will lead to a nationwide strike, potentially creeping various sectors of the economy. The organized labor call to action has generated widespread support from CSOs and the general public who shared this frustration over economic hardship and perceived slow pace of governmental response to public to, to response to workers' plights. As the deadline looms, all eyes are on the federal government and the Tri-Spent Committee to deliver a re resolution that addresses the legitimate demand of Nigerian workers and advert a strike that could that could have far-reaching economic and social implications. The situation underscores the crucial need for effective and timely policy responses to labor issues. 
in Nigeria as well as the importance of maintaining industrial harmony through fair and just wage practices. And that is all we have concerning this headline for you, which says that nationwide shutdown. Pressure on Tinibu as NLC mobilized workers for strike after insisting on 615,000 minimum wage. This headline is telling us that the NLC wants to mobilize their workers for strike, saying that if President Bola Metinibu did not increase the minimum wage to 615,000 naira, it and it says that in a bold move to address the rising economic challenge because they're saying this concerning the rising economic challenge faced in the country, faced by Nigerian workers, the NLC and the Trade Union Congress, Congress TUC, they jointly issued a, 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 a ultimatum to the federal government. The labor union are demanding a reversal to the recent hike in electricity tariff. They're also demanding that the recent hike in electricity tariff should be brought down because Civilians, workers can't even can that say that the the LCT, the hike of the city tariff is really affecting them. It's really in one way affecting them. And according to action, which has mobilized, they, they say the call to action, which has mobilized civil society organization, and other allies rooted in the growing context among the Nigerian workers, they are saying that if the the um, president do not bring down the LCT hike or increase the salary to the um, to the minimum that they bought to you, or saying that. At least a six hundred and fifty thousand thousand naira would be enough for a civil civil worker. Should be eat, feeding, eating, and still be paying your high high electricity um, hike, right? Than the normal price of a thirty thousand naira per level one civil worker. And despite this, uh, despite this effort, you know, the, the, the federal government increases their salary, giving them a thirty five percent increase in their salary. And say so it is not even enough. It it it, 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 it did not reach the minimum that they want it did not reach anything compared to the hard the the high cost of living in the country you see that failure to adhere to this warning you 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 will see that we are going to go on a nationwide strike no work in nationwide strike if the federal government fails to adhere to their warning and if and in the nlc were not even joking when they were saying this to the president they were not joking at all they voiced a very strong opposition regarding the electricity tariff and other things. What do you guys think? Let me just see your own comment in the comment section. And don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button.